and welcome back to my channel, Gingerella. This is my August sewing plans vlog, and through the wonder of the internet, I come to you a few days later, but it's actually only five minutes since I finished <laughs> my July makes vlog. So, let's get stuck in. The first thing that I have planned, and actually I'm part the way through, is a pattern that Madeline um, of madeline.com contacted me and asked me if I wanted to sew a sample of a bra that she's releasing with Simplicity. It's actually one of two bras she's releasing with Simplicity in a collaboration with them. This one's 8228 and it'll soon be on sale. I'm not sure whether it shows up properly when I do it like this. Maybe if I turn it over and show you the line drawings. So if not, I'll put a picture in. So it's a halter neck bra is option A. There's a bralette with a racer back as option B and then option C is the panties. I'm actually going to make view B which is the racer back bralette and the panties. Hopefully I'll get that finished pretty quickly. I'm planning to make it in um, a baby blue lace um, so hopefully that will turn out really nice. I'm going to come as close as possible to give it time to uh, focus on the lace. I've never sewn a bra before, any underwear, nothing. Trying to get to grips with all the terms and materials, fabric, supplies, bindings, trimmings was a bit mind-blowing to be honest but I got there in the end and I'm all cut out so I just need to sew and I'm really really excited with how it's going to turn out I think it might be one of the most satisfying makes in a long time just so the next make I have planned is another selfless sewing project this one's actually for my sister it's a slightly delayed birthday gift for her um, which I'm going to make in time for her to go on holiday towards the end of August. So I'm actually going to make a Colette Moneta, which is a, a knit or a jersey dress. Um, I've made one of these for myself before, so I understand the process, that's fine. I'm going to go with version 1, which is sleeveless and aligned bodice, but I'm actually not going to put the collar on. I'm just going to line that straight away. And the fabric that I'm going to make it in is this beautiful fabric from Girl Charlie UK which I think might be called Prairie and uh, yeah it's really beautiful um, and it feels so soft. They're not colours I personally would have opted for, they're not my not my shades really but she has dark hair and olive skin so it suits her really well and she chose it so that's perfect. I just need to cut her out um, which is going to involve a little bit of pattern matching so that's probably why I've dragged my my heels with that one. Now something that's happening in August is something I am uber excited for it's something that the fold line and Charlotte of English Girl at Home are organising known as the Sewing Weekender which is a two-day residential if you want it to be residential um, sewing conference I suppose you could say um, or convention in Cambridge. You go down, you take something to make, and there's also talks from some really great sewing people, such as Gabby of Gabadashery, if you watch her vlogs, there's Tilly and the Buttons, there's Rachel of House of Pinero, and just loads of other really great people, and I'm really excited. So I can't quite decide what to make. I really need to have a little think about that there's a sewing machine between two people so I might have to have a little think of something that's really going to work in that scenario so if anyone's got any ideas then please do pop those in the comments below and um, that'd be really helpful. The other thing that's happening during August is the Simplicity Sewing Challenge. These, this is a series of patterns that you can get from Simplicity um, including a vintage shirt or vintage blouse pattern, a skirt pattern, and also a child's pattern, I think. Um, and I actually happen to have one of the patterns already in my stash. So this is New Look 6348, 
four, six, and it's a skirt with buttons down the front in a few different options. Um, and I think what I want to make is view A, but um, the no, I don't want to make view A. I want to, yes, I do. That is A. <laughs> this is A down here. Um, but I think I'll probably make it a bit shorter. But I really can't decide what fabric to go for. So. I've got two options and I, I need help. So I have this um, viscose from Fabric Godmother. I think they are sold out now. I actually made a By Hand London Kim dress with a circle skirt with this fabric and I still have two metres left. I went a bit wild and was considering a panelled maxi skirt. Um, so I, I actually went for the four metres but in the end didn't didn't use it for that. So I've still got two metres, so that's one option, maybe with some white snaps down the front instead of buttons, or maybe some self-covered buttons. And the other option is this viscose linen blend, which I got from Sew Over It. I saw Lisa of Sew Over It made a pencil skirt out of it, and that's what I was going to make. I was going to make a By Hand London Charlotte skirt, but I thought maybe I can do something different. Um, so I bought 3 metres of it, and I actually only need 1.7 metres for the simplicity pattern. But I thought maybe this could be an option as well. I don't know whether it's too curtain-like. Mm, really not sure. Maybe it's a little bit Von Trapp or Maria from Sound of Music. So there's this or this. Which do we think? So, it'd be really great if you could let me know in the comments. So I mentioned in my July Makes video that I was going to be running a giveaway and it's for The Great British Sewing Bee from Stitch to Style, which is the book from the most recent series of The Great British Sewing Bee. And how you can enter is by writing in the comments below which fabric should I use for New Look 6346. Is this? this. You have until the end of the 31st of August, so UK time. A comment below is one entry. If you want a second entry, you can go to my blog and comment on the post there, which I'll link to in the description. It'd be great if you could say what your YouTube username is so that I can marry the two up. Please do enter and please help me decide which fabric I should use. Those are all my August sewing plans. I actually have two weeks off work, but during one of those weeks I'm learning to drive in five days. Or at least I'm hoping that's what's going to happen. So I'm not going to have loads of time for sewing and there's also going to be travel to the sewing weekender. So I think three makes um, and a little bit of finishing off the jumpsuit is enough. Maybe I can squeeze some other um, makes in there, but we'll see. I'll let you know in the August makes video. Okay, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate all the comments and the likes and subscribers. I think I'm now at 700 and something, maybe nearly 800, so thank you so much. Please do add comments at the bottom and I'll get back to you. Check the description for all the information about everything I've mentioned and also how to find me on social media. See you next time.